Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Let me ask you, would you rather have the Navy Federal Platinum or the Pen Fed Visa Gold? Or should you get both? Now, I would tell you to go after both cards, but there's a way to do it so that you can have the best advantage. That way you're not uh, paying any interest on your money for up to 27 months. And I'll explain that to you. See, first, I would go after the Navy Federal, okay, Platinum card. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. Many of you know, in order to become a member or get access to any of Navy Federal credit cards, you have to become a member, right? So, two uh, easy ways to, if you are in a household with relatives or a friend and they share the same address with you and they are a member of Navy Federal, you can actually join under them all right that's one way the other way even if you if you have a family member that's military related even if they're deceased okay you can actually join with uh navy federal now here's something else i'm gonna tell you do not buy an access code off of the internet do not do that because what can end up happening is whoever you bought buy that code from you can get yourself in some legal trouble because if a uh, pen fed ends up giving you a credit card and you use that credit card and they see that this access code wasn't given directly through them, they can seek legal action for fraud. All right. So I would definitely tell you not to do that. All right. Now back to the uh, credit card situation and understanding that with Navy Federal, many of us know how flexible they are. Okay, and I'm going to talk about the pen fed, but I, I want you all to understand how to leverage this to get the maximum amount of benefit and the maximum amount of money. Doing the setting up the internal score is one of the most valuable things for you, okay, because the internal score affects the credit card score. So, with the internal score, you have direct deposit, you can have a savings account. A regular checking account. I would say a flagship checking account. I would go for a flagship checking account. Okay, then they have money market account CDs. Now, two very important products that they have for you if if you don't own a business would be the end rewards and the pledge loans. Especially if you have if you're hovering around a 550 and say that you're trying to actually get a regular credit card from them. If you have the pledge loan, the end rewards, say that you're doing direct deposit, a savings account, now they may consider just giving you a regular cash reward. So they'll bypass that end rewards card and give you a regular credit card. Now this is very important because with the cash rewards, if you have challenging credit and you don't get the, and they don't bypass it with the cash rewards, you put down 200 and after six months of on-time payments and stuff like that, it actually turns into a $2,000 card. All right. Now, many of you all understand that. Now, the interesting thing about it is that with Navy Federal, if you have a business, I would definitely encourage you to open up a business checking account. That's going to help with your internal score as well. Now, with Navy Federal, they pull your FICO 9 TransUnion, all right, for the credit cards. And with the business credit cards, they're going to pull your Experian FICO score 9. All right, so that way you know. Now, in terms of liquidating the card, and then we're going to talk about Pen Fed. In terms of liquidating the card, you can do it two ways. All right, well, actually three ways you can do it. They do the cash advance, but I think it's up to fifty percent. But if you need all of the money, then what you want to do, you want to get their uh, Go Card, their prepaid Go Card. And then you can transfer your credit card balance over to that prepaid card, all right? So that's one way to liquidate. The second way is using uh, the credit card to buy Visa gift cards. That way you're not charged uh, a cash advance, okay? And so it's looked at as a purchase, all right? Now you can be do a pre-approval. Also, the way to get the actual uh, Navy Federal Platinum card, if you want the Navy Federal Platinum card, you can either apply for it. Now, I would probably apply for it. I wouldn't do the product exchange. Say that your uh, end rewards turned over to the cash rewards, 
All right, you can take the cash rewards without a hard inquiry and do a product exchange, but I wouldn't do that. I would actually keep the cash rewards and I would request a, a credit line increase on it through the app so I wouldn't get a hard inquiry and then I would apply for the Navy Federal Platinum card, okay? Because the Navy Federal Platinum card gives you 12 months on um, no interest on balance transfer and purchases, okay? That's how I would work that system and build my credit score up to about a 640, uh, 660 credit score because with paying Fed, they're conservative. Then once I built my credit score up using Navy Federal products and stuff like that, and also another big factor is your debt to income ratio. Both credit unions, your maximum DTI is 55%, okay? So in order to get your DTI, your debt to income ratio down to 55% or lower, if you have small open revolving credit cards, I would set those up from smallest to largest and I would pay those down to either zero or at least under 10%. So that way you can have a lower debt to income ratio because when you switch it over to Penn Fed to go after that Penn Fed Gold Visa card, it's going to be after that debt to income ratio. So where most people think is about the credit score, they're looking at the income. The income is very important. So if you have a spouse in the household, I would make sure that I include my spouse's income. All right. If you're on disability, but you're renting out a room or you have a side hustle and you're on disability or you're retired and you have a 401k, you have to, I would say, include all of those incomes on the application because they benefit you financially. All right. This is going to help your chances, not only just getting approved for a a uh, pen fed credit card, but a higher limit credit card. So that's the reason I'm telling you that. Now, in reference to pen fed gold visa credit card, all right, so to join pen fed, it's $5 through the savings account. Now, they don't have an internal score per se, but I would do the gardening of it, meaning that I would open up a uh, savings account and I would open up a uh, checking account. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. With Penn Fed, if you just coming out of a bankruptcy, if that bankruptcy is between six to nine months old, they will give you a unsecured credit card. All right. They will give you an unsecured credit card. So that's the good thing about Penn Fed. Like with your traditional banks like Chase Bank or something like that, they want your bankruptcy to be at least 12 months or older in order for them to give you a unsecured credit card. All right. And Chase, just so you know, Chase Bank doesn't offer secured cards anyway. Right. But at the same time, now, you know, now also with PenFed, they pull FICO 9 Equifax. Okay. On everything, on everything where with uh, Navy Federal, they may use one of the two bureaus, TransUnion for the credit cards and the car loans, and then for the business credit cards, they use Equif uh, excuse me, experience, so that you know. Now, in terms of liquidating your pen fed v gold visa credit card, what you have to do, you probably more likely have to buy some visa gift cards, all right? So that would probably be the easiest way. Now with both credit unions, again, you can possibly do a pre-approval. So switching over from Navy Federal over to pen fed with their with pen fed visa gold card because it's 15 months no interest on balance transfer and purchases okay now you dealing with 27 months of no interest in balance transfer so if you're trying to start a business or you're a person that's doing day trading and you're doing high volume need some real quick cash and needing to liquidate your credit card or whatever this is probably the best way instead of doing a cash advance because when you're paying doing a cash advance you're going to end up paying a lot more money or well, say that you're trying to start your first business and you need some capital for it, this is the best way to utilize those cards to liquidate them because they're not charging you any interest on the balance transfers or purchases all right so if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description, schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.